Fine hair, greyest of skin, beauty of the eyebrow. Dinar, Croiso, Folter, and welcome. I'm Tim Hawthorne, I'm a Druid and Elder Bard of Gorso Thinneswitrin. And today I'm going to talk to you about the first letter of the Beth uh B, which is the letter B. Uh, it's named after the birch tree, um, directly, and it it is connected with lots and lots of concepts beginning with the letter B um, in English, Irish, and Welsh, uh, particularly Irish. Uh, but things like beauty and birth, beginnings, boundaries and balance. The first thing written in Oam, according to the Lever Oam, was the letter B seven times. This was a, a warning to Lou McEckley to protect his wife from being carried away to the she. It translates roughly as your wife will be carried away from you seven times into the she or into another country unless the birch guard her. Um, you can have fun working out how you get all that out of seven right hand strokes. Bridget, or Breeder, the daughter of the Dada, who earned her keep as a poet, which is a bard in Gaelica, or Berth in Cumraig, and also Silversmith, is connected with the birch tree. So the birch, Cran Be in Gaelica, or Bedwen in uh, Cumraig, also known as Betula in Latin, is the first tree, apart from the elder, to put out new leaves in the spring. It's a self-propagating pioneer tree, which breaks new ground for other woodland species. It's known as a peasant tree under Brehon law, and it's friendly to flowers and many forms of fungus due to its affinity with water. It demands much light, and it's relatively short-lived. They grow to around 60 feet tall and live around 60 years, constantly shifting ground to make way for other trees. It has a suitably faded trunk and silvery skin, and so the colour related to this station is white, barn in Gwelega or Gwyn in Cymraeg. Birchwood is dense, being used for bobbins, barrel making, clogs and other small items. Its silver white bark makes good tinder and it's waterproof enough to make drinking vessels and even canoes. The bark can be used for things like roofing, basket making, cord, shoes, nets, plates, parchment and paper. The oil from the bark can be used to tan leather and the sap can be used to make wine. Magically, birch is used to beat the boundaries, to drive out evil spirits, particularly those of the old year, and reinforce discipline. It sweeps clean as a witch's besom. Birch was a recommended wood to make cradles out of in order to protect the child from fairy spirits. Graves assigned the line I am a stag of seven times from the Song of Amargin to this station. Unfortunately the original Irish Am Dav Sechnerend doesn't fit with the alliterative scheme However, a bull of seven victories would in both Irish and Welsh. Seven consecutive rutting season victories are required for the supremacy of the herd. Um, and words like fight, and combat, uh, bruion in Gaelic or bruida in Cymraeg, and victory, vidigoliaeth in Cymraeg or bua in Gaelic. So it follows that Boudicca is the Celtic equivalent name of Victoria. While we're cherry picking lines from ancient poetry, the Praithiae Anun, which means the spoils of the deep, a cryptic poem in Middle Welsh found in the book of Taliesin, has the line, 
They do not know the brindled ox, thick his headband, seven score links on his collar. Yr Uchen Banog is the Welsh name for the brindled ox. Uh, there are other words for speckled balach in Gaelica or brch in Cymraeg. Balor of the One Eye, the king of the dreaded Fororian pirates, imprisoned Etlin on Tor Mor on Tory Island, with twelve women to watch over her day and night. The story of the birth of Lou begins with Balor deciding to steal Keen's cow, known as Glasgaven. In revenge, Keen makes Balor's queen Etlin pregnant and she gives birth to Lou. The Irish epic, Tarn Bo Coolinger, centres around two bulls who were formerly shape-shifting swineherds and the ensuing battles to capture them. Haughty Queen Maeve, the Queen of Connaught, is very proud of her famous red bull with a white front called Finbenach. She becomes distraught when she learns of a yet finer beast, the brown bull of Coolinger, and she decides to make war on Ulster with the bold plan of winning the bull. She sets off on the Monday after Samhain with a host of warriors drawn from the other three provinces of Ireland. So the bull, which is Bo in Gaeliga or Buch in Cymraeg, was an important food animal for the Celts. They were used for milk and leather and provided a visible sign of prosperity. B is the sound of bellies, bulging with an abundance of food. Uh, beer in Gaelica or buid in Welsh are the words for food. And the word for bread in nearly every Celtic language is bara. Uh, the Irish just lost the first B. Words for cookery often begin with a B. Uh, boiling is brui in Gaelica or brood in Welsh. And bake is bocoil in Gaelica. Bly Brugge provided for Cahullan during his upbringing on Mahevni Plain. He could feed all the men of Ireland for a week in his house. So the sound of B is, is big and bouncy, boastful and bombastic. Um, it gives us words for great, like bros in nearly every Celtic language. Proud, broduil in Gaelica or bolch in Welsh. The word for bag or stomach is bolloc in Gaelica or bol in Cymraeg. Um, the word for peak is bin Gaelica. Barn Camraig, or life itself is Baal in Gaelica, or Buid in Camraig. So that leads us on to the skill oem. I think that the skill oem is a very important insight into the meaning of the oem as a whole. And in this case, it's the skill of earning a living, livelihood, Behumnacht in or Bioliaith in Cymraeg. The tool oem is axe or biail or buech in Cymraeg. And the bird oem, which I showed you in the introduction, is the pheasant, because that's besan in Old Irish, um, piasun in Modern Irish, or pheasant in Welsh. In Older Irish texts, P and B are sometimes used interchangeably as P only otherwise appears in loan words. BH is pronounced as V or W. In older manuscripts, B might be written with a point to mark this instead. Um, sometimes they just get totally left off just to add to the fun. The value of initial consonants change under certain grammatical conditions in Celtic languages. In Irish, the first form of this is Lenitian, Shevu where the consonant is aspirated to produce a fricative. So BH becomes W when it's f followed or surrounded by a broad vowel. Broad vowels are A, O or U, so-called because you make a sort of broad shape with your mouth and your lips are consequently further apart. Or a V sound when it's followed by a slender vowel, which is I, E or I, um, which you make a much more slender shape with your mouth when you pronounce them. Uh, your lips are consequently closer together. So BH gets pronounced as V when it's followed or surrounded by E or I, or indeed another consonant. The second form of change is eclipsis, known as Uru in Gaelica, 
which is symbolized by adding letters to the beginning of the word, resulting in a kind of nasalization. So B is pronounced like M and is written MB. Welsh has three mutations which are similar but completely different. Um, soft, nasal and aspirate. So B changes to a V as a, for soft mutation, uh, M as a nasal mutation and does not aspirate in Welsh. Understanding the initial mutations helps with dictionary lookups and also understanding the relationships between sounds in Celtic language. So all of these sounds come under the general umbrella of B, the B sound. B speaks of beginnings, the first breath of a baby's life, the blank page yet to receive writing and the vitality which can be channeled into new projects. The challenge of Bet is to achieve a balance between asserting and challenging your own boundaries and respecting the boundaries of others. The bull represents wealth and resources. Skills associated with this oem are basic survival skills and those involved in earning a living in the material world. Talking of earning a living in the material world. If you'd like to help support me making more videos on bardic themes, please consider joining my Patreon team. There's a link in the description below. And I would like to take this opportunity to do a big shout out to my first patrons, uh, Jules and Anne and Wes White and Tina Bragalia. If I've pronounced that correctly, I hope so. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe using the buttons below and you can even click on the bell icon if you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload the next video. Terra Vanessa, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. I have nothing but my soul.